Hi everyone, here are all the times that all of my videos will be uploaded. Remember, all times are Eastern Standard Time in the United States. So I'll let you take a look at it for a little bit and enjoy the new episode. Hello. Welcome to our brand new series. It is May and, well, you know, it's gonna be May. <laughs> Uh, it's, this is actually the uh, first video for my channel for, uh, um, for May. But, uh, we are starting our brand new series today. And we are talking about every single veto of every single president of the United States. Now, uh, some guidelines will have to be, uh, met for this one. Because... The way how this will be able to work is um, we will go from the first president all the way to the most recent president that has finished his or her term. So for the case of our series for right now, we're going from George Washington all the way to Donald Trump. We're not going to Biden because at the time it's been recorded, Biden has no vetoes. But uh, that may change in the future. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, what we will do is once his term is over or tenure of office is over through any means, uh, we will eventually cover that former president that just left office of whatever reason. So we'll kind of be kind of coming back to this series whenever the, the moment occurs for it. So, today we're talking about George Washington. Uh, there are two categories I have written down here. First, we'll have the overall category of like how many vetoes that president has, has had. I'm going to do this that way I can easily keep track because I'm going to get lost in my uh, my chart here. And then in the other column and section is how many of those vetoes were overridden by Congress. And uh, I will say all the way up until our 10th president, we will have no vetoes overridden by Congress. So I don't have to worry about that until we get to the 10th president. Not the 10th episode, but the 10th president. Which, speaking of which... Some presidents have no vetoes, so uh, I will mention at the beginning and end of each video whenever is necessary of what presidents we are skipping, and we'll jump to the next president with a at least a veto. Sound good? Cool. Let's jump right into it. As I said before, today we're talking about George Washington. Uh, he has a total of two vetoes. And as I can go over here to my other page here. Uh, the first veto occurred on April 5th of 1792. Which vetoed an earlier ap apportionment bill than the Apportionment Act of 1792 on, on constitutional grounds. And then we have another one which occurred on February 28th of 1797. Which was vetoed a bill to alter and amend an act titled an act to ascertain and fix the military establishment of the United States on the advice of Secretary of War James McHenry. So, yeah, those are his two bills that he vetoed. Uh, I believe they both got altered and were passed again in both houses of congress in which he signed it so yeah that's all i have time for george washington uh thanks so much for watching like comment subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow for james madison and i would like to mention that john adams and thomas jefferson have no vetoes again i will reiterate that in tomorrow's video just that way you guys aren't you know, lost. 
All right, we will see you then.